Let's get into it. Okay. You have a text message that clears your name from your sister. Can you pull out your phone and read that recent text from Brittany? Do I have my phone? Hold on, your bigger seat. That seat right here. She says to me. Hey everybody, what is up? It's Balloon. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you doing? Happy Tuesday. Let's get into this one today. Okay. Now, there is quite a bit of drama on the internet to go over today and also on TV and stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on, so I want to get into some of this today. This video is, of course, going to be about Jamie Lynn Spears going on the Call Her Daddy podcast. I have watched part one so far, so this video is going to be mainly focused on that. Girl, people had things to say about the Call Her Daddy podcast, giving Jamie Lynn Spears a platform to come and share her experiences and talk about her sister Brittany. So people like Daniel Prader have said things on Twitter saying that anyone who gives Jamie Lynn a platform sucks basically. Um, and also Brittany's former manager Sam has weighed in on Twitter as well. And of course I don't always agree with taking pop shots at people's appearances but in this instance I'm like okay well Sam is somebody who's always wanted the best for Brittany. He knows her very well. He was her manager. So he probably feels justified in saying what he said in that tweet there. You know, but we're going to move on. I have actually taken notes in my book. I sat and watched part one of this interview. I took notes because there was quite a lot in there. There was a lot that I wanted to go over as well. So we're going to get right into it over here. I mean, first of all, the first thing about the whole interview Jamie Lynn sat there and she had this kind of expression on her face which to me looked kind of like kind of like she knew that she was already beaten if you ask me you know kind of like she knew what she was going to do she knew what her game plan was her game plan was to come on this interview the Call Her Daddy podcast and kind of put the waterworks on you know try and sort of gain sympathy from people to try and make people hear her side she's talking a lot about how like she feels that she's got the right to express her pain and we're going to get into it and while we do this i'm going to be getting the rest of my face on i've done my base and all that already i'm just going to start doing my eyes so jamie lynn well to begin with on the call her daddy podcast jamie lynn was being asked about the start the beginning of her book which was all about their childhood now jamie lynn was 10 years younger than britney so she started talking about their childhood how their dad was an alcoholic and it was all quite sort of personal family stuff then she got into talking about how when britney got a little bit older britney got to the age of 11 and Jamie Lynn says that's when she started to notice a change in Britney's behaviour. Now, of course, this is all from Jamie Lynn's perspective. According to her, that's when she started to notice a change in Britney's behaviour. And then she goes on to talk about when Britney got with Justin, Justin Timberlake. He became like a father figure to Jamie Lynn because obviously Britney's mum was kind of having to deal with Brittany and Jamie's dad who was having a drinking problem and all of this and it sounds like Jamie Lynn is trying to say okay well we had quite an unstable childhood you know it sounded a lot like that without putting it in those words it sounded like that was what she was trying to say about how they grew up so Jamie Lynn says that when she was 11 years old her sister Brittany's behavior started to change so bear in mind there's a 10 year age difference between the two sisters so that would make Brittany 21 at the time and that would have been when Brittany was hanging out with Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hilton, all of that 
before the kind of major breakdown in 2007 where of course Britney shaved her head and the paparazzi were hounding her and treating her like shit and everything then. So according to Jamie Lynn around this time Britney was in her kind of party phase you know I think we all remember you know at that time if you're my kind of age you will certainly remember when Britney Spears was hanging out with Paris Hilton and also Lindsay Lohan you will remember seeing pictures of them in the press, you know, going out, clubbing together and all of that stuff, kind of, you know, in and out of cars together. You will remember that. If you're my sort of age, if you grew up at the same kind of time, same kind of era that I grew up in, you'll remember that, right? So that was kind of like, you know, everybody kind of thought that Britney, Paris and Lilo were like the kind of, you know the it trio at the time because paris you know paris hilton of course was an it girl and everybody thought that those three were the kind of it trio at the time so i don't know if anything that jamie lynn went on to say about her sister came from a place of jealousy or not i'm not sure you know it could be because you know her sister being more famous and all of that it could be that jamie lynn has been a bit sour about that you know, because Jamie Lynn did talk in the Call Her Daddy podcast about how she felt a lot like, you know, having been an accidental baby, you know, not having uh same name, being the Lynn with the E like the rest of her family. She's talked about how she felt kind of, you know, like an afterthought. So seeing Britney growing up, you know, getting to like 21, being mega, mega famous hanging out with Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan, all of that jazz, you know, having all of this kind of notoriety. And Jamie Lynn, of course, wanted to be an actress. So I don't know if some of this comes from a place of jealousy or like resentment towards Britney. It looks like that's what it, you know, it looks like that's what it is to me. I don't know. But Jamie Lynn then went on to talk about how during this time period, Britney apparently locked her in a room with Britney she locked Jamie Lynn in a room with her and held a knife towards her you know she was talking about this this is something that's apparently in the book now I haven't read the book but Britney has actually addressed that on social media herself in her own social media post and here's that social media post from Britney Spears in response to Jamie Lynn's claims that Britney locked Jamie in a room with her, brandishing a knife. Now, Britney claims that she's never been around Jamie Lynn with a knife and she wouldn't ever think to do such. The only knife Britney says she ever saw was at home, cutting the biggest pieces of squash that she ever saw in her life and it was too big for Britney to cut. So please stop with these crazy lies for the Hollywood books. Now and only now do I know a scum person would make up such things about someone. I'm actually very confused about you making that up because it's honestly not like you at all. So Brittany is claiming that Jamie Lynn is lying about this incident with a knife in the kitchen. But to go back to like part one of the Call Her Daddy podcast, I really felt like Jamie Lynn was just kind of coming from a place of resentment towards Britney and resentment at having had, you know, not the childhood that she might have wanted, you know, talking about having a bad relationship with her mother, all of this stuff. It all seemed very like Jamie Lynn grew up kind of living in Britney's shadow and it sounds like she's very resentful about that now. So it was all very much about how Jamie Lynn grew up feeling like she was playing second fiddle to her sister Britney and of course Britney getting a lot of attention because she was very successful with her pop career. It all really sounded like Jamie Lynn was kind of, you know, sour towards Britney about that. But in the interview she did say, oh, you know, I'm my sister's biggest supporter. She's been a big inspiration to me, all this stuff. She was saying all of that, but as well as saying like, that she grew up in Britney's shadow and it was all very kind of very much like she was actually saying that she felt her family had let her down and that they didn't support her as much as they supported Britney with Britney's career. So the whole Call Her Daddy podcast, the whole part one of it was Jamie Lynn 
talking about Jamie Lynn's trauma, you know, which, okay, fine, everyone's got a right to express their pain, but I felt like a lot of the stuff that Jamie Lynn was sharing in this podcast was stuff that really, really should have been shared with a therapist rather than being shared very publicly like that on a podcast. You know, it just, I just don't think it's fair to Britney or anyone who supported Britney during that time to actually come out and make a book out of this, make a book out of all your bad experiences and, you know, put it on blast to the world when Britney has just come out of a 13-year conservatorship. I don't think that that is in any way fair, you know. I don't think that's what somebody who's just come out of a conservatorship needs, you know. I don't think she's really got Britney's best interests at heart to be doing that, you know. That's your sister, you know. She's come out of a conservatorship, and yes, you know, everyone's got a right to speak about their pain and their pain is valid and everything else but to air it all out in public I'm just like mm, you know I'm like okay you know to air it all out in public and try and make money from it I'm like okay that tells me that you really don't genuinely care about your sister you care more about making money and social media clout you know you know what I mean And Jamie also talked about the whole 2007 thing. You guys remember when Britney appeared on newspapers and magazines with a shaved head. Jamie Lynn also opened up and talked about finding out about all of that at school from a friend of hers. Now, I can understand that's all like traumatic stuff that can all really like have an effect on, you know, a teenager as Jamie Lynn was at the time and everything. But I still don't think any of this is really fair to Britney to be bringing all this out into the public domain. You know, it's all Jamie Lynn's own trauma. It's the Jamie Lynn show. And I just don't think it's actually, you know, conducive to helping Britney or helping her get on with her life at all. You know, Jamie Lynn, yeah, she has trauma, sure, absolutely. But I just don't really think it is the thing to do to come and bring that all out in public. You know, I think it would have been better to save that, all of that trauma, take it to your therapist. You know, you guys can afford therapists. You know, save all your trauma, take it to a therapist, sit down and talk with them about it. Because I feel like hashing it out in public like this is only making everything worse for their whole family. You know... Despite whatever I might think about the family and how they've treated Britney, I still don't think that they should be going through this publicly, you know. I am obviously Team Britney, but, you know, is this good for any of the family? And Jamie Lynn has previously said that she wanted to deal with this privately in an Instagram post. So I'm going to pop that post in here so you guys can see it. So on Instagram, Jamie Lynn said she wanted to deal with it privately to Britney. Now, she's come out on the Call Her Daddy podcast and it's all very public. It's like, which one is it, Jamie Lynn? You know, do you want to deal with it publicly or privately? Because you're saying one thing, doing another. And then also, earlier in the week, Jamie Lynn was called out for letting her daughter handle guns. Now, her teenage daughter handling guns. Now, she's claiming that she was scared of Britney Spears holding a knife but it's okay for her daughter to play with guns. So I'm like, you know, is this some kind of weird double standard here? What is going on? You know, I just don't think it's the thing to do, to be coming out publicly with all your dirty laundry, you know, when you could just go to a therapist, sort it out that way. I'm sorry, I know this video is getting really long, but I'm going to move on to my next topic. Because the other day, I made a video talking about how Eugenia Cooney had been harassed in one of her Twitch streams to the point that she had been made to cry by people who were accusing her of wearing a diaper because they thought they'd seen her wearing a diaper in an Instagram story that she posted. It was actually a little flash of white underwear. Now, Eugenia got really, really upset on stream. I did make a video about this last week. But Eugenia has since returned to the internet, returned back to Twitch where she's now doing charity streams for 
animal shelters and zoos I believe um, but she came back and this is what she had to say on Instagram about the whole you know people harassing her thinking that she was wearing diapers and everything that whole incident this is what Eugenia had to say about that experience and what happened afterwards hey guys so um I'm really sorry that it's kind of been a little bit since I posted on here last and stuff um and also just wanted to say I'm sorry to people that happened to be in my live stream last time um I was like definitely not expecting to cry on stream and get like that uh I really tried to not let that happen I think I've only had something like that happen like three times total online I feel kind of like extra bad because I know this time it happens like in the last like eight months twice but I don't know guys it's not like I really went on stream that day like expecting to get like that and um yeah it was just kind of really weird stuff that day it was, it was just kind of stressful in some ways um and it wasn't like just the, like the you know last thing people were saying it was also I don't know um even if people kind of weren't trying to be like this which I totally get um it just kind of seemed like the whole time that stream like a lot of people were coming at me for all different stuff it's kind of whatever <laughs> like you know normally i'm really used to that kind of thing look i've even seen like some people since then being like she deserved it she deserved to be crying like that um which is fine if you guys feel that way like that's totally okay you know i'm sorry for like kind of overreacting and stuff um and i don't know sometimes the rumors that start about me are just like so weird like since then i've seen some people like making like these weird like eugenia like diaper girl instagram accounts where like they photoshopped me as like a baby and I also just want to be clear you guys is like in my stream that day it was just kind of like you know I know I was getting kind of upset um I I don't wear diapers number one but I was never trying to say that there's anything wrong with people wearing diapers I totally understand that sometimes people do have medical conditions where they do need to and stuff like that and obviously I don't think that those people should ever be like made to feel bad because so I just want to be clear, I was absolutely never trying to say that. And um, also guys, just so you know, the white underwear is a thing. So no, I was not wearing diapers. I know some people are also kind of like, yeah, Eugenia, we saw, so you need to admit it now. And I don't know, I, it's just, that's not the truth. Um, it's just kind of a weird thing for people to be saying, but yeah, like I said, that day, like normally I can deal with things really well and I wouldn't normally react like that. It's just kind of stressed that day, I guess. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I can't promise people that I won't do that ever again, I guess, because sometimes, like, it's not like I went on stream that day expecting to be, like, crying, but I will try not to, um, sorry again, you guys, and, um, yeah, anyways, I hope all you guys have been doing good, and, yeah, it's weird, guys, um, I heard a rumor that apparently there was some forum post somewhere, not Reddit, so just so you guys know, before Redditors get mad at me, I'm not talking about you guys, but where people are like, okay, we're, like, determined to make Eugenia cry on stream so like that so I don't know I'm gonna try to like not cry again like in the streams hopefully and yeah like besides that guys I hope all you guys have been doing good and everything like that um so yeah okay my loves that is it for me on this video please let me know all your thoughts comments and opinions about the whole Jamie Lynn Spears going on the Call Her Daddy podcast if you watched it, what do you think of all the things that she said? What do you think of her coming up so publicly and revealing all this private information? I mean, am I right? Anyway, I'm going to go and finish my makeup. I mean, the eye look is pretty much finished, but I'm going to go put on some lipstick, some hair. So I've just used about seven different shades from this palette. The green one, I really, really like this. So I used about seven different shades from that and the peach blush, what is it, can't cope with coral, I love that one. And I'm going to go finish my look and I'll be back because there is more drama involving Gabby Hanna, Trisha Paytas. So I'll see you for a second video today. Take care my lovelies, stay well, see you soon.